A common issue we run into with vector design files is open contours. An open contour or path is whenever a shape does not connect all the way around. Open contours can be easy to miss and frequently cause issues while designing in vector programs, such as Adobe Illustrator. Open contours must be fixed before uploading your design or the laser cutter can't follow the path to cut out your desired shape. To start, select the outline option from the view dropdown menu. You can also use Command plus Y on Mac or Control plus Y on Windows. Viewing your model in outline mode will make it easier to spot any open contours. At a glance, the SendCut Send logo appeared to be fully connected. However, in outline mode, you will see that I'm missing a connection in this area. We also recommend using the free Illustrator plugin called Select Menu, which will allow you to find all open paths. Once installed, with the object selected, you can go to the Select drop-down menu and Open Paths. This will help you find all open paths, particularly with larger design files. To fix open paths, let's first switch to the Direct Selection tool. This will allow you to shift-click both endpoints that need to be joined together. We can then use Command plus J on Mac or Control plus J on Windows to join the two endpoints. The join command is also located in the object dropdown menu and the path flyout folder. It's important to note that the join tool in Adobe Illustrator only allows you to join one item at a time. If you were to select all open paths before the join tool, it would join them together as one shape. We do recommend a concatenate plugin that allows you to join multiple open paths at once while keeping the shapes separate. This Illustrator plugin does require the purchase of a license. However, it's well worth it for those who frequently design in Illustrator. This file is now fixed and ready for the laser cutter. With some files, you may have a large number of vector points. Too many vector points can be troublesome for the laser cutter, especially when they make up a tight corner. The laser software will sometimes translate that as a break, or you can end up with edges that are not cleanly cut. If you notice a large number of vector points on your shapes, you can use the Simplify Path tool. Start by selecting your shape, followed by Simplify from the Object drop-down menu and Path Flyout folder. From here, select the More Options 3-dot icon to view all of the options. Reduce the number of anchor points around curves with the Simplify Curve option. Reducing just a little amount often makes a big difference. You can also try the Auto Simplify button, which will automatically remove vector points where the software believes they're unnecessary. Depending on the shape and how many vector points make it up, it may take some back and forth with the settings to reduce points without altering your desired shape. Checking the Preview option will allow you to test the settings and preview the results in real time. Your file is complete once you reduce points and all open paths or contours are fully closed. Be sure to check out our other video on exporting from Adobe Illustrator for laser cutting, and then reference our checklist to double check that your file meets our latest requirements.